Actually, we're already in game. This is kind of what defines heroes: fast brawling. That's how it works. Yep. And remember, just so you know, I don't know if you noticed because you haven't done too many heroes games. You can press Z and Shift Z to zoom out very fast. So you can catch more of the action. That's the most important part. So we're currently <laughs> looking at Lolita versus Aramar. Um, I believe it's Artist versus Tassadar. It is Alphas vs Tastar, there is a bit of a battle going on in both top and bot lane. Ali was pushed back in this bot lane, and Ufa was pushed a bit back in the top lane. So at the moment, both teams just trading one for one, but we're seeing Railgun at the moment coming round, looking for that Tassadar. Yeah, nice gang coming in, Armar in a lot of trouble, gets locked up, takes a lot of damage here, but is finally forced back to his fountain, and it's just going to regenerate that one, and that's the thing about heroes, you don't uh, really have to... Just quickly take a look at top lane, we're seeing Ufa get incredibly active, and Ufa does pop, that is first blog for Team Cutoffle. Yeah, and Uther gets uh, like uh, 5 seconds that he is invulnerable, where he is allowed to cast some spells and deal still, still deal some damage. Can be a game changer, but in this case uh, it looks like it was not much other than that... Um, just a little bit of harassment, but at the start, that's not all that much. Actually, Fabio and Starzerk now coming in to assist Armar, or are they just passing through? I think they're passing through to go to bot lane, and we did see a disadvantage there of Arthas came up from red team to try and get a counter kill onto blue team, but was completely shut down, getting no kills at all, and was not in his lane to get experience, and oh my god, red team stitches completely body blocked there by Fabio. Very nice borrow. Yeah, definitely, but... It, it was like Stitches, he wanted to go to what looked to be the middle of the map. Oh, another fight breaking out. Ali taking a lot of damage. Railgun actually forced to walk out of there with his clone. This team from Kadovo is incredibly heavy on the very quick engage. You go in as quick as possible and try and shut down the enemy team. I'm curious to see how this will turn out in the late game. Yeah, it's uh, very interesting here, but Kadovo currently in the lead. A little bit having a uh, experience advantage, but Ali... For facing off against Ravagan, so we might have yet another gank in the mid lane. Nova coming in, Armar in a lot of trouble. Armar E going to be able to back out of that, and at the same time, his teammates Fabio and Starzerg are going to be able to take this easy camp, which is going to give him a bit of map control. Nova is right there, revealing herself to Starzerg. So Starzerg's going to go in on her Armor there as well. Railgun getting some support from Mon from the Stitches, but everyone is able to back out. No deaths caused as of yet. Uh, actually, the... Uh it's going to be very hard for uh, the um, team of U-Hots uh, to actually fight back. The DC Giants, Ooh. if they can keep them alive, those towers are going to go down. And wow, what a damage onto Nova. And three kills already for the team of Team Kartoffel, so... Yeah, eh, Starzak completely shutting down that Nova. No gank of you. And we're seeing Starzak and Fabio go in again. This time they have a much more tacky character in the form of this Arthas. But they're going to go in on the Arthas while Ali drives back the Valor. And they're going to get this Arthas before Valor is able to come back in and help. We will see. Oh, no, we won't. Very nice Icebox. The knockup is there. Can Ali go in for the chase? Yes, he is. The smite comes down, able to kill off Arthas. And he's probably going to be able to get out of there as well. We have Stitches and Nova both going in on him. Valor oh, also Ali coming back in. There's all. the hook. And Ali yeah, does he's going go, to go down. down. He's going to explode. That's his uh, passive. If he dies, and he will explode, deal a lot of damage. And I believe that if he hits some uh, enemy heroes, he actually gets a uh, reduction on his death armor. Uh, I believe so. I will have to double check that though because I'm not too sure. Very nice there in the mid lane. Amor Nova appeared instantly and Amor was easily able to dodge the snipe with his E. Very nice there. But we're seeing Arthas head up to the top lane possibly looking for a gank. But Carrion easily able to back out. He's just soaking up XP at the moment giving his team a bit more of an advantage. And this, this is pretty much what uh, heroes, heroes boils down to. You have to get that experience advantage. And the way you do it is by either killing enemy heroes or making sure that you have more heroes in lane than the opposing team. Because all experience is shared. So if your team is winning, then you are winning as well. And it's not just snowballing like you see in other MOBAs. Oh, Armar taking quite a bit of damage here from Railgun. One more hit. Able to shield himself, he is pretty safe for now. And yeah, as you pointed out, you only need one person in lane. Having more than one person in lane will not give you any extra XP. Armor forcing out his face shift here. May have to shield shields himself, able to protect himself from the um from the toxic there, but we're seeing Lolita take a lot of damage here. Starzerg able to heal himself up. Down goes the healing totem. Down goes Amor. Starzerg being dropped lower. Down he goes. Fabio is going to be able to escape. Gets hooked out. But he no, does he's have not going to escape. He's, he's not going to escape. Uh, he is going to escape. <laughs> Barely, though. 
Indeed. He did have his viral charge up as well, so it would have been able to back out of that fairly um, easily. One second. I am going to um, fix the sound a little bit because it's a little bit too loud. Okay, fair enough. Um, it's actually... Cr actually... Uh, actually... Actually... Yeah, it was uh, overcrowding you. Okay, fair enough. That is fine. There we go. Much better. Indeed. And we have seen that Team u has actually made a comeback in the XP. So they're going to be able... They're bringing it back quite a bit, actually. They've overtaken, well, via the XP bar, the team of Kartoffel. Yeah, and this all coming down to those three kills. If you're behind, kills are worth more. You get more experience. And now we're going to see the ultimate abilities from all the heroes. Indeed, this everyone has their ultimates right now. Ali being driven back by Nova again, but Tychus is there, going to go straight onto Railgun. Here comes the Valor as well, but Tyrion came back in with his ult, able to shut that down. Valor going to have to back out three versus one here. But we see three people in the top lane here for u -Hots, but they're going to back away, not able to get their hands on that Malfurion. Yeah, but this also set the team of Kartoffel ahead a little bit. You can already see the experience bar of Kartoffel very fast. Uh, increasing very fast. Also in the bottom lane, one of the turrets has now run out of ammo, so that one is going to go down to the night camp. Indeed, night camp killing this off very quickly. It looks like Valor might be able to kill the only... Oh no, there is the wizard is focusing it as well. And you also have taken their knights in the top lane, so they're probably going to try and push this down, see if they can get carry in. If Sitch could get a hook, they have a chance, but it doesn't look like he's going to try. Just going to play it safe and keep pushing. I like what Kartoffel is doing here. Stars are coming in from Circling the rear. Around, the there's the grenade the and wipes it Whoa. out. Didn't stand a chance. And yeah, at the moment, the wiped. Indeed, they are under keep right now, but the Beatles from the... Uh, from the Anubrak are currently tanking the keep, so they're not getting the slow on them as the moment. So he's just popping all his abilities to keep that tank up. And minions are now alone, but here comes oh, laser. Team Uhots from the back. Precision Strike misses everyone. Odin is popped. Archon is popped. All the ultimate abilities are coming down. Nova being dropped very low. Ufa does get the heal off, but Anubrak is continuing to chase. But there. Yeah. Tychus is able to back out. He still has full health underneath that. Odin, though, gonna go onto the Arthas. Arthas being dropped very low. Vola Nova did manage to escape, but Arthas does go down. Ufa's gonna be able to back out, but that is one extra kill, and they got the fort. Yeah, I, I like what uh, Team Kartoffel is doing here. They are capitalizing on the fact that they have a little bit of an advantage. Destroy the keep, and they're tanky enough to actually withstand all the damage from the opposing team. Right now, they're going for what looks to be a plant spawn. The, uh, tra uh, the trademark for this map. Can they actually pick up all of those uh, plants? Yeah, yeah they, they can. Them. Nova and Uther are coming in, though. Vala is behind them, but nice knock up there from Anubarak. They're going to be able to back out. Stitches, though, is up there. Going to try and get onto Tastar. Tastar will have his E up. Tyrion coming in, possibly looking to defend. And Tastar needs to ha press his E if it is up or he's going to die, but it's able to get out. Nice heal there from Malfurion. And now the team fight is looking to turn a bit. The numbers are moving a bit more in Kartoffel's favor, but they have managed to disengage fairly well. Yeah, for now, what u has has to do, they have to get control of that plant golem. They have 51 of those uh, plant spores, I believe, that they're called in this map. And if they can actually manage to take those down, then they have a good chance of getting back into the game. But here's the teamfight once again. Indeed, and Tychus is going onto Stitches right now. Possibly not the best target, but in the back, Tyriel is seriously going hard onto Nova. Nova trying to micro away. Ufa trying to keep her alive. Nova is revealed once again and has been knocked up. Ufa, it looks like it's going to drop down. And here comes the ult, the judgment out of Tyriel, and down goes Nova. Vala is in the back, going to do a lot of damage here, but Arthas also goes down. That's three for zero. That's four for zero, sorry, in favor of Kartoffel. And Valor's definitely trying to get some damage done, but they're all going on to her. All the abilities are being popped. Where's the knockout from Nubrak? And down she goes. And they're going to be able to get this fort too. Kartoffel really showing dominance in this game. 12 kills to three. Yeah, and the biggest issue in this fight was the fact that the Vala was in the bottom lane, completely separated from the team. And like we have been discussing all the night long already, this is a team game. If you're not with your team, if you're not fighting 5 versus 5, you're not going to win unless you have a different strategy. And from what I can see, what all these champions, uh, what all these heroes have in common, is that they want to team fight. And now they're on to Ali, but I don't think this is a smart idea. Here is Ali's team, all ready to reinforce. It looks like we're seeing another team fight, but once again, Valor's not in it, having only just respawned. Starzerg with the Odin is popping everything right now. Tyriel is incredibly low and is popped by Valor, but it's going to be able to explode on two people. It's able to get Arthas there, so it's currently a one for one situation, but both teams are still going very hard here, continuing to push Nova Hologram. Did just pop, but that was not the real Nova. That ain't Nova. 
Stars are going to be able to back out. And once again, it's a one for, it's a two for one trade. Sorry, Ufa was a was popped there. I didn't notice when that happened. Oh, but it looks like Marath is going to be dropped quite low, but is able to escape. We'll have to see if Stitches can hook anyone where they can possibly get another kill. Yeah, but for now, I'm pretty sure that U-Hot doesn't want to fight this. They, they are behind on uh, team members. They are behind the levels. They want to just turtle up, get themselves back into the game by getting that, uh, getting themselves to at least level 20 uh, to, well, most likely match the level 20 that the team of Kartoffel is going to have. Because th I believe that uh, the most important part about Heroes of the Storm is that you get your ultimate abilities. Uh, once you hit level 20, just like in other MOBAs, it's such a huge power boost. And if you're looking at uh, Team Kartoffel, well, Railgun is going to uh, see that the hard camp has been taken away again, but you hots they have to fall back. They, they cannot fight at this point, and they just have to wait it out until the, well, relative level difference is smaller. They cannot fight at this point, and that, that's probably going to be the biggest issue that they're going to have to deal with, because in the bottom lane, there's a five-man push coming in. Indeed, there's a and five man push with the hard, hard camp, camp, with the knights pushing forward as well. Whereas, you guys haven't even taken their hard camp yet. Hologram is thrown down and is able to draw out a smite from Ali there. But Ufa's now been engaged upon in a really bad position, but is able to back up. No, he's not. Gets pulled back by Tiger's Grenade. They're knocked up. There's the ult. Trying to slow him down, but he's taking a huge amount of damage. In the background, though, huge engagement from Uhots onto the team of Kotoffel, but Malfurion is able to escape, and he was who was really engaged upon there. Odin is popped from Tychus. Ali coming back in. There's the judgment onto Nova. Nova is popped like a balloon, and Arthas will soon follow. Somehow, Tassadar's in the enemy base trying to... <laughs> <laughs> trying to kill his way out. I'm not sure how he got in there. I'm assuming Stitches had something to do with it. But everyone is dead. That is a full wipe from Team Kotoffel. Uhot's in serious trouble now, and they're probably going to lose this key. And this is exactly what I was talking about before. The relative level difference of two might not be all that much, but before level 20, it's gi gigantic. And they cannot fight fight five versus five, and especially if they lose one ch uh, one hero, if, it, if he or she is caught out, then immediately you see the team of Kartoffel, how coordinated they are. They separate him from the team, take him out, and then fight 5 versus 4. And even with all the ultimates being popped onto their team, they still survived. Indeed, and we also want to point out that that keep was killed there. We're going to see more seeds being taken here, and that means Kartoffel can summon oh, the plant terror. 100 seeds. Yeah, but that keep did go down, which means there will now be catapults for Team Kartoffel pushing in that bot lane. They are long-range siege units that are going to be able to help push this down. We may be seeing a team fight here. They're waiting in the bush, and oh, Tyke has been caught out of position here, but it's able to boost down. Down comes Precision Strike, gets two for Tyke's using his overdrive, getting a lot of damage down onto Oof. We're seeing a lot of damage get down. And Stitches is able to consume the Anubarak, possibly take him to his main base, but not going to oh, make it, and out position. Yeah, Stravaganza was trying to get onto Aramar, but is now fighting against Starzerk, and the three-level advantage is really showing. Lolita trying to get into position, but it's not going to be in time. Starzerk already has picked up one kill, and Lolita knows, eh, I cannot fight this Indeed, it's cur it's my currently own a 3 for 1, now it's a 4, sorry a 3 for 0, now it's a 4 for 0. Stitch is getting caught as well from Anubarak, coming in from the back, very nice here. This is going to be yet another fort for Team Kartoffel, and that's going to make it two forts left for Team u -Hots compared to all six remaining of Kartoffel. Yeah, you can already see that there's now a 3 level advantage for the team of Team Kartoffel, and... They're going to hit their ultimates, their level 2 ultimates, really, really soon. So it's going to be very, very hard for the team of u -Hots to even fight back, because what kind of ultimates can they get? I believe that uh, Tychus can upgrade his Odin to fire a nuclear missile, if I'm not mistaken. Indeed, Tychus upgrades his ultimate to fire a nuclear missile, if that's the upgrade he wishes to take. Uh, Tyrael can make it so that his cooldown is shorter, Tassadar can make his do more damage, and... Uh, Malfurion, I didn't actually see what ultimate he took. Hang on, let me double check. I haven't really seen him use it. He took Twilight Dream, so he's going to have more damage and more silence with his ultimate. Anubarak did take the Locust, I believe, so it's just going to engage now. Gets all four members with the Burrow Charge. So much damage. Now, Stitch is immediately popped down, goes Arthas as well. Ufa, only one left alive as well. Sorry, I don't, didn't notice Nova was nowhere near the fight. He's going to try and pop a few pot shots at the enemy team here, but it's going to get nothing. Tyrael does engage. And 
so many holograms here. Which is the real one? We're playing the Mario Kart, the Mario Party mini game at the moment. We're seeing Ufa coming back in, gonna try and protect his core, but the core is taking all the damage. It's all five members of Kotoffel on this. There comes the Divine Storm from the very tiny Ufa who did get hit by a Shrunk Ray. There's the Judgment onto Nova. Nova in serious damage here. Starza goes onto her and she pops just as the game ends, and Kotoffel takes game number one. Very well played here by Kartoffel, and I believe it's a best of one even, so... Oh, so Kartoffel just... takes it overall. Yeah, very well done by Kartoffel. Yeah. That finished with 26 kills to 4, and they didn't even kill the top keep in the end. That was very, very well played by Kartoffel there. Yeah, definitely. And uh, you have to give it to them. They, they were walking as a team at all times, and that's pretty, pretty st uh, strong team play from them. And again... We, we've said it before, this is a team game, this is not your average MOBA, this is a brawler, a team brawler, Heroes of the Storm, game number one. It was Team Kartoffel who got, who took away round number one, and let's see if we're going to be able to uh, see the game results. Indeed, I the game results not. aren't really loading for me, so, oh uh, well. So, uh, are we going to be able, to, can we find out if this is a best of one, or whether it was best of three? It, uh, let me check, actually, I, I, I actually have the info tab open, so... No. It is complete rules. Let me uh, double check that. It is doesn't say. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> uh, it should say on the match page if you like select the match itself. Okay, uh, it looks like best of one. Okay, so that means we're going to be jumping into SK next, I believe. SK versus Kartoffel. That's a pretty interesting map because uh, SK is the best uh, team uh, in Europe, at least. Uh, that's. It's, what we, could, what they we are can one say, of, but... They are one of the best. They have do, they've been doing hugely well in the Nexus Champ League that's been going on at the moment. Very, very good team. Okay. Right. So, with uh, all that said and done, we're waiting for the next match. So, enjoy the music. I'm TechLink, and this is Thatcher. And together, we are bringing you Community Cup number one, hosted by ESL. Stay tuned. <laughs> 